Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. Everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, here for another episode of the show. And uh, this time I've got a, a California wine. I haven't done California in a while. At least it doesn't seem like I have. Um, so what I did is uh, I was, you know, went to Specs and I bought some wine. And um, I realized I hadn't done any Cali wine in, in a minute. So I picked this up. It just, you know, didn't look like anything like totally special, but um, one of the reasons I bought it because of the Appalachian Lake County. Now I don't really buy much from here, and I don't. You don't. It's not as sexy as Napa and Sonoma, um, or even Paso Robles. So um, I decided I, I'd get this because I didn't know anything really about this wine. Um, so we're gonna call. It, we're gonna show you what it is. It's the Shannon Ridge Ranch Collection. This is the 2008 Wrangler Red Lake County. Um, bought it at Specs for eleven dollars and sixty nine cents. Now uh, Lake County, let's quickly go over what Lake County is. Um, Lake County is an appellation around Clear Lake. I believe it's the lake. Clear Lake, yes. Dang it. Lake County. Clear Lake, yes, Clear Lake. Make sure I had it right. Just when I said Clear Lake, I was like, no, that's out in Texas. That's by Houston. Anyway. Um, Clear Lake is the largest uh, body of water in the state. Uh, there's several actually smaller AVAs, uh, sub Appalachians around Clear Lake or in the Lake County AVA. Um, Lake County is north east-ish of Sonoma and Napa, more of Napa because Sonoma is west of Napa. Um, the, the company is um, uh, out of Geyserville, which is actually in Sonoma. So, um, but they, but this wine, all, all the grapes come from uh, Lake County, which is why they can call it Lake County. All right. So, um, this particular blend of 2008 comes from Zinfandel Syrah, Petite Syrah, Mavedra, and Tempranillo. The 2009 on the website also as also adds Barbera. So, um, just because I went to the website and the 2009 is what it is, and when it's a blend, you really need to make sure you're getting the, the vintage right. I mean, so I wasn't even, I was, you know, the percentages I'm not going to worry about, but um, as far as I can tell, they're following normal lab labeling laws, U.S. labeling laws. So the first ingredient, being Zin, must be the highest percentage of grapes, and then it goes down from there, because when you look at the 2009, um, it's kind of like the same... It's, it's in the same order, and the percentages keep dropping, so that's pretty much is typical of uh, what it is. I'm pretty sure they have to follow labeling laws like that. I mean, I know alcohol or wine has its own set of laws for labeling, but uh, I would imagine they have to follow that. All right, so let's check it out. So I'm getting kind of smoky wood. Um, darker cherries. Kind of a, ch a chocolatey type of uh, aroma to it. This is a wine I could probably smell for a while just to kind of pick apart what I'm getting because there's, I'm not going to say there's lots going on, but there's definitely more than just one or two things I'm getting. And I think it would open up even more if I just kind of let it sit in glass for another 30 minutes. But predominantly I'm getting kind of that smoke wood, old wood, um, some dark cherries and some chocolate. Those are the primary ones. And those are really kind of subtle. I right, see how it tastes. Mm. 
really pretty good here. Um, moderate tannins. It, it, it coats the mouth pretty well. A little bit of acidity there. Uh, moderate on the moderate to light on the acidity. I don't really talk about acidity with red wines very much, but um, it, in red wines it's there. It's just not like with white wines it could be like the really driving force, whereas with red wines it's, it doesn't have. It's not necessarily a primary thing. God, man, it really smells like kind of like barbecue too. Now I, I know that's one of the one of my big descriptors out of 220. Uh, reviews. I've probably used barbecue about 150 times. So, but man, I really smell that. I mean, I really feel like I'm at the Salt Lake. It is, is what it is. I get kind of the spices. You get kind of the spice, a little bit of peppers. Uh, not peppers, but like pepper. Like white pepper, black pepper. <clears throat> um, still, hint of cherry. Um, definitely getting that, that woodsy. Not doesn't feel like I, I bit, into a, bit into a tree, but I still get that, that type of flavoring of, of a smokehouse type of thing, a smokehouse flavoring. Um, it's it's smooth. It's very smooth. Um, I'd say it's about a a medium bodied red, so it doesn't really attack you too much. Despite you know being zen, I mean zen a lot of times can be pretty full body. It can really attack you. Um, I think it's being softened by everything else. I'm really digging this wine. <clears throat> I'm digging this wine a lot. Um, one thing about, the, about this, on the website for the 2009, so I don't know if there's a significant difference between the two vintages, it's, it's 18 dollars from the website. And I, could, I bought this for 12 bucks, so 19 versus 12 Don't know what the website was selling the, um, the 2008 for, but man, at $12, it's, it's a really good deal. I would highly recommend you buy it. Um, kind of to, talking about scores, you know me, I, I, I haven't been a big giver out of 90 or higher scores, but you know, I'm, I'm very impressed with this, with this bottle of wine. Um, I'm thinking 92, and this is not the, you know, like I mentioned in the last episode, you know, well, I score wines too hard, or I, I score them too low. This is not, you know, me going, well, I'd really score at uh, an 87, 88, and I'm bumping it up. I mean, I really think that this, I mean, even if I, two weeks ago, was scoring this one, I probably would score it a 92. Yeah, I scored a 90. So, I'm going to give it a 92. Because I shouldn't be afraid to give out a 90. Is basically what I'm trying to say. 95 and above should be reserved for like the kick, kick-ass wines. Anyway, I try to keep the, the profanity to a, to a minimum so I don't have to have that explicit tag on iTunes. Um, yeah, this is really. I, I'm I'm very pleased with it. I like it a whole heck of a lot. Buy it if you can find it. Um, I mean, imagine 2009 is probably pretty darn good, but if it's $19, it's it's worth it. I mean, if you if, if this was if this was a $20 bottle of wine, I'd say it'd be worth it. But at 12 bucks, I think it's a freaking steal. So get more of it. I mean, I really. It's really good. I like it a lot. A whole heck of a lot. Buy it. All right. That's going to do it for today's episode. Um, as always, stop by the website, leave comments. Have you had this wine? And if you did, did you pay 12 bucks for it? Did you pay 20 bucks for it? Did you buy it from the winery? Or, you know, whatever. Um, let me know what you think about it. Let me know if you're going to try it yourself. Um, I really, it's one of the wines I've had recently that I've, I'm very, very pleased with. And, um, you know, I actually must make, I actually want to buy more of it. But the problem with me and wine is that. 
I buy pretty much what I, I drink pretty much what I buy for the show and I don't really drink anything else outside of that so I don't really I don't necessarily have like favorite wines you know it's not like I go well this is my go to wine I always buy it I always drink it at home because dude I pretty much just drink these bottles of wine so it's not like um it's not like, you know, I've got cases and cases of wine, I'm drinking wine 24-7, I'm drinking wine all the time, and whoo, partying up after I'm, after I'm done with uh, recording the videos. Um, I mean, there are times where, I, like, I haven't had, like, I do say six, six or seven reviews in one day, and then I don't drink any wine for, like, days. And then it's like, man, I'm starting to get close to having to do more reviews because I'm running out of reviews to post, not, not that I'm running out of wine. So on a day off, I'll be like... I'll like pound a couple of the bottles to finish them. Not pound, but I'll over the course of over the course of the day I'll try to finish a couple of the bottles. But you know, man, if I was looking for a wine to to buy a few few more bottles of, that would be it. That's how highly I think of the wine. All right, that's gonna do it. Stop by the website. Like I said, leave the comments below. Uh, check out the. I'll have a link to the to the winery. Um, check out the links above for. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, iTunes, subscribe to that and the web, subscribe to the podcast and uh, donate button. Leave a few ducats and um, that's it. We'll see everyone again next time.